Now, first and foremost, a quick disclaimer. I do not endorse any acts of violence, any illegal activities or any violation of any community guideline on social media. Now on to the question at hand, why are the Irish so angry? I will try to keep this concise, but the recent riot in Dublin, it can be explained by a righteous anger upon two horrific crimes. First and foremost, there was a young Irish woman being murdered by a man who had no business being in Ireland or Europe for that matter. Second case, a man also with no reason to be in Europe or Ireland, he went to attack and as a result several Irish children were hurt. I can only pray for their well-being. So a righteous anger, of course, was felt. If you don't feel anger when you hear tragedies like this, if you're a man, especially if you're an Irish man, if you don't feel anger, I can only encourage you to go and get your testosterone checked because something is awfully wrong with you if you don't feel anger when tragedies like this occur. Now, another reason we can explain the Irish anger. Now we can look at the last decade or so. There's been a great housing crisis and uh, basically many Irish families have been evicted from their homes because the banks have really needed those houses uh, because the families couldn't pay their mortgage or whatever it might be. Uh, throwing people out on the street, not particularly good, not what a civilized society does. The Irish state could have stepped in but instead they saved that money so they could spend so they could spend that money on housing so-called refugees which in this case means fighting age young men coming in getting well treated to hotels to nice estates meanwhile the irish families are being um, evicted onto the streets so of course they are angry and they have peacefully protested regular irish citizens peacefully protested and then they get labeled as far-right extremists um, and you know the usual labels they uh, they try to present anyone who has anything to say against the mass immigration the multicultural hell project then you're a far-right extremist so you can try to peacefully protest you will be ignored and you will be slandered as a far-right extremist you can try to engage politically then you will also be um, attacked on every front and all manner of unpleasantries will happen to you in order to discourage you so of course people riot if politicians aren't listening anyway so you can try to do it the right way the liberal democracies of Europe they have told us you know you can peacefully express your view but you can't because you will have your life ruined and you will be ignored anyway so this young Irish men rioting in the capital completely normal and something else to all Irish liberals who are dismayed at some police car is burning uh, or some hotel is being smashed up you know you can order a new police car and you can repair the hotel but you can't bring back the victims of these crimes you can't bring back this young woman who got murdered you can't do it so try to think clearly try to get some sort of empathy in your heart try to think of what really matters in life and it's not a police car and it's not a, the facade of a hotel and this is of course not isolated to Ireland either. We've seen horrific attacks in France as well. Same reason there are great hatred against Europeans, against whites. And this will continue until all European nations initiate a large-scale repatriation process. Until then, tragedies will continue to occur. We've seen this for the last few decades now. Nothing new. Where will it happen next time? Who knows? Maybe it will be Sweden. Maybe it will be France. Maybe Ireland again. It will continue until European nations initiate a large-scale repatriation process. So, that all being said, I'm with the Irish people 100%. You have my love and my support. Thank you for watching. XXO. Boom.